Mm. We're now. All right. All right. Hey, y'all. Okay. I'm coming back to tell you, and Bruno wants to be in this one. Hi, Bruno. Um, about the time I went to list the property, and anyone that knows me knows during Halloween when that time happens, spiders, <laughs> spiders and snakes do not like. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I can, I can tolerate um, a grasshopper, a stink bug, but for some reason, spiders, and I know they have a duty. They're out there getting bugs and stuff. I don't like them. But one time I showed up and this guy had a snake and he actually, when I walked in the door, he had it, he was handling it. Um, which first off is really scary for me. I don't like snakes. Um, so I had to tell him to put away his snake and he didn't understand why. And I had to tell him that the majority the public, they don't really probably like snakes or, you know, spiders and all that. But especially snakes. So he ended up putting it away and he like ended up covering it, but it took a lot for him to realize that, you know, I'm here to sell his house. So if that means putting away his snake and covering it um, for potential buyers with children <laughs> um, to buy his house, then he should probably do it, which he ended up doing and I ended up selling his house. But if you have a snake um, or spiders or reptiles, chameleons, um, and you're having your house on the market, it might not appeal to everyone. So please like, try to consider the fact that a buyer might not want to come into a house where they're seeing that. So, you know, put away your snake, put away your, your spiders, reptiles, um, and get your house sold. But all right. Love y'all. Have a great Sunday. Mwah. Bye.